the world is moving at an incredible pace. Today, our phones are more powerful than the computers that landed the first humans on the moon, and we can travel across the world in mere hours. But what does the future hold? What will the world look like in 80 years? In today's video, we will explore how the world could look by 2100. Before we continue, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Tech World. And so, without further ado, from brain chips and driverless cars to nuclear fusion and Mars landings, here are a few things to expect by 2100. Number 7. Quantum Computing The 2000s may have provided humanity with pocket-sized computers that can get tasks done in minutes, but in the future, they will look like Stone Age antiques. By 2100, a new generation of quantum computers will take their place. And no, quantum computers aren't just faster and better computers, they're a different kind of device entirely. While regular computers can only process information in either of two states, zeros and ones, quantum computers, on the other hand, allow subatomic particles to exist in more than one state at the same time. They can exist as zero, one, or both at the same time. In turn, quantum computers can process huge amounts of information as much as 100 million times faster than regular computers. Because of the enormous processing speed, quantum computers have a number of staggering practical applications. Not only would we be able to process data and run practical applications like cybersecurity and traffic control at incredible speed, but we'll also be able to solve century-long computation problems and predict future events like weather and disasters before they happen. The age of quantum computing is coming, and we might not even have to wait until 2100. In 2019, IBM unveiled the world's first quantum computer, and while it's the first of its kind, sooner or later, the company says others will make their debut, too. Number 6. Neuralink Another futuristic technology we won't have to wait a century for involves having our brains fully integrated with our devices. In the future, you will play games with your mind, download languages straight to your brain, or move objects with your thoughts. Founded by Elon Musk in 2016, Neuralink is using brain-machine interface technology to link our brains to computers. The technology is not by any means new. Earlier versions have helped patients recover from strokes and given amputees the ability to touch again. What makes Neuralink different, however, is its potential affordability and mass production appeal. By 2100, the average person would no longer have any use for TVs and phones. We can stream TV shows and play music directly from our brains. The company is already entering the final stages of development, but before chasing these futuristic goals, the startup is focusing on its major goal, which is ending human suffering. Neuralink will rewire brain circuits to heal physical disabilities like paralysis, as well as neurological disorders such as depression, insomnia, and Alzheimer's. Number 5. Nuclear Fusion Having a green and sustainable source of energy has always been a big deal for us humans. On one hand, we have to produce enough energy to serve the rising population, while on the other hand, we have to reduce environmental pollution by decreasing greenhouse gas emissions. We haven't yet been able to come up with a renewable source of energy to fully replace all the old ones. That's where nuclear fusion comes in. In simple terms, nuclear fusion happens when two or more atoms collide at high speeds and fuse to form a new atom. It's the same process that occurs inside the sun. This process is the direct opposite of the process of nuclear fission, which, by the way, is what we use in our nuclear power plants, that involves a single atom splitting apart. Nuclear fusion shows promise of potentially offering an inexhaustible supply of zero-carbon energy for decades. Fusion is also, for the most part, one of the cleanest ways of generating power and can produce four times more energy than fission. Also, it doesn't cause any radioactive waste, which brings us to the question, if nuclear fusion is so efficient, why do we still use nuclear fission? The truth is that controlling a fusion reaction has proven to be a nightmare. The process generates so much heat that operating a nuclear fusion plant requires more power than it generates. Still, for years, nations around the world have envisioned a future where nuclear fusion could be the main source of power generation for the whole world. 
By 2021, this vision could become a reality with the ITER project, a collaborative project between 35 nations, including the UK, US, Russia, and China. When the project is completed, it will create 500 megawatts of power through nuclear fusion, which means that by 2100, we may no longer have to rely on exhaustible radioactive power supplies. Number 4. Autonomous Transportation Imagine getting into your car, punching in a location, and taking a nap while it drives you to your destination. A few years ago, that would only be possible in movies, but by the year 2100, fully self-driving cars will not only be an abstract concept, they will grace our highways. A lot of companies have already kicked off their autonomous car projects. Back in 2016, Google started a self-driving taxi project called Waymo, while Tesla took a dip in the autonomous driving market with features like autopilot and convoy mode. By 2100, driverless cars could be as common as regular cars are today. In 80 years' time, we might be able to travel between destinations in mere minutes through underground tunnels. One company that's already working to that effect is The Boring Company. Another Elon Musk project, the company is already building underground tunnels that shuttle passengers between destinations within minutes. When the project is completed, it will drastically reduce traffic time and the pressure of getting from one place to another. And if that's not impressive enough, you can always stay home and have an unmanned drone deliver your groceries right to your doorstep. Amazon and UPS are already testing out a few of their drone prototypes, which are due to make their entry sometime in the near future. Number 3. Space Travel The 1950s were a fascinating time. The war had just ended and a new battle had begun, the space race. It inspired an era of unprecedented technological growth that ended in humanity's triumphant landing on the moon. Fast forward to 2021, and another space race has begun. This time, though, instead of superpower nations battling for orbital dominance, private companies are competing to make space travel more accessible and affordable. One of the private companies leading the New Age space race is SpaceX. The brainchild of billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk yet again, SpaceX specializes in building reusable rockets in a bid to reduce space costs. But that's only half of the story. In collaboration with NASA, the SpaceX program is not only trying to make it possible to tour Earth's orbit, but it's also planning to send humans to Mars, potentially setting up colonies on the Red Planet. Although Operation Colonize Mars is still in its infancy, 80 years seems like enough time to get things in order. By 2100, it won't be a matter of if we get there, but how many people live on the Red Planet. But what's a space project without moon exploration? After a long hiatus, NASA is again setting its sights on Earth's nearest neighbor, with a plan to build a space station on it within the next decade. But not before we get to see the first woman of color land on the lunar surface. The United States government, through the Artemis program, is working on returning humans to the moon by 2024. So by 2100, we will most likely have a new moon landing, a lunar base, and a Mars base. Number 2. Hyperloop Speaking of travel, another innovative invention that could be commonplace by 2100 is Elon Musk's Hyperloop project. A new form of super-speed ground-level transportation, the Hyperloop has been pegged as the transportation system of the future. And for good reason. The system could see passengers traveling at over 1,200 kilometers an hour, which is much faster than common air travel. Cheaper, less polluting, and much faster, the Hyperloop is built for the future. But that doesn't mean that we can't enjoy it in the present. In November 2020, Virgin Hyperloop conducted the first human trial of their proposed Hyperloop project. The ride only lasted 15 seconds and it didn't break any speed records. Still, the test set the tone for the future of Hyperloop technology. By 2030, humans will travel by Hyperloop around the world at sonic speed. And who knows, we might even visit other stars. According to SpaceX's Hyperloop team, by 2100, Hyperloop will be operating outside of Earth, transporting passengers to other colonies in space. Number 1. Artificial Intelligence No list of future technology would be complete without including this one. From smartphones to chatbots, artificial intelligence has taken the world by storm and has made its way into becoming a big part of our daily lives. And it's not stopping there. 
thanks to the success of existing AI frameworks, the momentum is building, and a lot more AI projects like voice recognition and AI grocery stores are making their way into our daily lives. Still, perhaps the most impressive project would involve AI robots that can replicate human behavior. By 2100, AI robots will do everything from cleaning to office administration and hospital lab assistance. They will talk to patients, check conditions, and recommend treatment plans. It's only right, of course, that the biggest tech company in the world is involved in the most ambitious technology of the future. In 2014, Google came up with their installment of futuristic human-like AI with their DeepMind program. The program is already being used in healthcare to diagnose and predict health problems. But in a few more years, it will be able to replicate almost all aspects of human behavior. If the technology scales through, by 2100, we could hold conversations and work side by side with robots. What do you think the world will look like in 2100? Which technology do you think will make it to the future? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Tech World. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.